about our coffee. Um, we're live. And uh, so hopefully our viewers on YouTube can connect with us. But yes. for everyone that's on Facebook with us right now, happy Sunday. So happy to be with Let you guys again. Let me just mention again the... Uh, the website. I know we have it down Absolutely. below. We have a link in the description, but it's stupidgoodcafe. Stupidgoodcafe.com. All right. And, and again, we, you use our uh, promo code about that key life. It's linked in the description below. If you're just joining us on uh, YouTube, we just had a, a mishap with our with our camera here. We went offline and we're getting back online on YouTube. So we're going to add that to the description. We'll type it into the notes right here, baby. You can write it right there. Say something. Yes. So you can write stupidgoodcafe.com, and that will be our first comment of the day. So thank you so much for joining us and for your patience. This is the beauty of being live. Look, we have a live studio audience. We have uh, our canine family and our human family. Oh, yes. And our feline family, because Shadow's here. So we have Oswaldo um, right now uh, sharing his cup of coffee as well. Absolutely. Um, what are you drinking, brother? I know what you're drinking. Oh, and by the way, this mocha licious, it's go it's a seasonal. They have seasonal blends. I can't even talk about what's coming down the pipeline. Um, but they have seasonal blends. This mocha licious is the seasonal blend. So it won't last. It won't last. It won't I think last. It's, it's only, they only have it to the end of the month. Again, on their website, they're doing uh, a two for one for this month so that all of our coffee connoisseurs um can have a chance to sample it, you know? He also just mentioned on the comments, the discount is about that keto life. That's, that's right, okay. about that so keto life. So if you're life. interested, you know, log in, um, stupidgoodcafe.com. That's right. The discount uh, code is about that keto life. That's right, we're gonna put it in the comments. We'll put right, this right, promo code, colon, about that keto life, four words. Thank you so much for that, for that reminder. Now, this coffee's so good. It's a good thing that not only got here after I tell my story. <laughs> Our show's not intended for kids. So now we're going to edit it for this Sunday. But it is intended for dogs and cats. So today we're making, hold on, hold on. So today we're making. We're starting off with our specialty cocktail today. We always have an amazing specialty cocktail. And that's going to be our spicy cucumber margaritas. It's going to be out of this world. We had a fun, fun, fun time this morning prepping for the show. This Wasn't was that good? Perfect. This is delicious. And it's Yummy. so good when you do in a cafetera. Mm -hmm. Tell them about how we ground the So we, I baby. found my cafetera, by the way, Bobby. But listen, so I, the great thing yes. is that your coffee is also not pre-ground. We forgot to mention that yes. in the with, with all the, 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 the technical stuff. But the, the coffee is not pre-ground. So you can just buy... A ten dollar spice grinder, coffee grinder in your local Walmart or hardware store, just and and you buzz up the coffee, you put it in your in our in our little coffee maker there, and then we have an amazing time. I'm gonna set this off to the side yes. and let's get our we'll show. Just, we'll just leave these coffee off. beans here because they sing. But we'll remind them. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Oh, We're gonna yeah. remind them again about the stupid good coffee before the show is over. So today we have an amazing show, like my love said. If you're just joining us on Facebook, thank you so much. I mean, on, on YouTube, thank on you so YouTube. much. If everyone's on Facebook, well, thank you so much. We've got some baby lamb chops, mm -hmm. the ultimate keto baby lamb chops. And like she said, we have a side dish. We went back and forth on the creative side on what to do. My master sous chef wanted a puree, so we're going to do a velvety, sexy cauliflower puree yeah. and, the, and the and the great thing about this puree i catered well two things she's not a big cauliflower person a lot of uh women especially but uh a cruciferous vegetables cause sometimes a lot of bloating and gas uh gassiness or or you know stomach pains um and, and it happens to men too but you know women happen to be more sensitive, sensitive. Uh, to, to cruciferous yes. vegetables so i i have a, we have a lot of clients that that can't consume a cauliflower but a when we rice cauliflower right. Uh, it's more uh, palatable to you. Yes. And also when we puree it like this, um, I'm going to show you how to make it. And I did a brunch a couple of years ago for a good, good friend. She wanted to hold something for her mom. It was a keto brunch. And I made them filet mignon with this cauliflower puree. And everyone thought that I messed up and served them potatoes and they stood quiet. They were like, this can't be, this, this is potatoes, mm -hmm. right? They, they thought it was a mashed potato. So I'm going to show you how you're going to, absolutely blow everyone's mind with this kind of 
Oh, if you're right. Yes. Because after all, I'm a master chef. Mm -hmm. right? I have to. I gotta prove it every day. I gotta. I gotta fight one, to prove my love. One thing I just want to mention, if um, no one has seen the comments right now, that Oswaldo mentioned, he said it does come ground, but of course. It's, All right, uh, great. You know, it, Thank you. You, you know, you have the more flavorful. Absolutely. If you have it as a absolutely. You know, if you don't, for if you're whole not, bean is absolutely. Yeah. yeah. No. It's, and, and perhaps so you have if you're that on option. the go, you have that option. If you're on the go, you know, you may not want to travel with your little spice grinder. You might want to travel with your pre-ground. You're on the go. Travel with your little spice grinder. You might want to travel with your pre-ground. Freshly roasted coffee. Yeah. So thank you for that. It's also ground. We absolutely love the, the whole beans because you know we're chefs, so we got we got a grinder. So if you have any questions and you're on our on Facebook, Facebook right please, now, Oswaldo also is there, so he can you can engage Absolutely. with him. Oswaldo say Fena hello is on. So be our friends and yes. your friends. Yes. <laughs> Let's be friends. We can do this every weekend. That's right. <laughs> Let's do this. So, like I said, we have a spicy cucumber margarita, and we're gonna sexify this margarita so many ways. So many ways. Now, for the last couple of weeks, we've been mixing cocktails and having a martini, but we're gonna get back to what we do, which is make a big picture, you know, because we like to entertain. So when we make a picture, it's not just for us two, it's for us and our guests. And that's a great thing about, you know, you save time when you make a picture. So, like I said, we're making a spicy cucumber margarita. So I have a few elements. If you're on Facebook, the recipe for this will be below. We have this delicious cucumber juice. We basically put three whole uh, cucumbers in the blender Regular cucumbers, not the not the seedless English ones. Is it offline? No, I just uh, I misspelled a word, and okay. I have to make sure that I don't. All do right, it this again. is the this is the beauty of being live. Yes. My apologies. That's Sorry. right. That's the beauty of being live. You can also delete the comment, probably. So we made this delicious cucumber juice, my love and I, this morning. We pureed three whole uh, regular cucumbers in the blender, just let it go on crushed ice until it was nice and pureed, and then we got all the juice and just got, you know, like on a, on a, on a mesh, on a fine seed, we uh, got all the pulp out and just got extracted all of the juice. So that's this beautiful natural cucumber juice. We have here, my baby squeeze limes. Again. <laughs> limes. And let me tell you, she, it's getting easier and easier. Like before she used to squeeze the lime. Hi, Pamela. She used to squeeze the lime into a container like this. And now I have to get her a container like this because when she squeezes, there's juice everywhere. <laughs> it's theatrical. All right. That's how strong you are. Show them guns, baby. Show them guns. So we have some freshly squeezed lime juice. Trust me, it can be done. And as always, we have a sweetener. We made like a lime and orange simple syrup using our keto friendly sweetener using water, our keto friendly sweetener, and um, some a, a half an orange and a couple of limes in there. Um, and so we're gonna make a keto spicy cucumber mm. margarita. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make it spicy in just a second, but let's get some mixing. So I've got here my, my syrup, my fresh squeezed lime juice. Baby, we have, uh, we have those cups, we can bring the cups. Come on in, come on in, welcome. Two casa is two casa. And we have our delicious cucumber. All right, we have our delicious fresh cucumber juice. All right, now you can also, if you don't partake in alcohol, you can make this with no alcohol. And instead of adding tequila, you can just add seltzer water. All right, or lime seltzer, whatever kind of seltzer you like, and then you would have a delicious and amazing virgin spicy cucumber mocktail. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make it. How we're gonna make it, yeah, how we're gonna make it spicy in just a second. All right, so let's give this a twirl. Are we logged on successfully on YouTube? Who do we have on? Happy um, Sunday. On say hello. YouTube, if you're uh, watching, say hello. Damon Robin says hi. 
Hi, Damon. How you doing, Damon? And on mm -hmm. Facebook, Muta. Hey, mom. She says, not the seedless English cucumber. <laughs> no, that one is coming up, though, mom. And I have a, I have an homage to you coming up right and now. And she says, hi, guys. Looking great. Thank you, my thank love. You, thank, thank you, you so sis. much for coming in. <laughs> this is the, yes, our syrup. A little bit more of this. Amazing. Amazing. Love it, my love. Amazing. Woo, a little bit of our fresh cucumber juice. And we're about to make this right. spicy now. So we have our margarita. We got our pitcher margaritas, right? Now, you can just pour this over ice. That's fine. You can shake it up over ice and then pour it over fresh ice. That's also nice. But we're going to do we're going to do a couple of things. So first, we're going to make a couple of of rims. All right? Like a car. We're going to make some rims for our glass here. And uh we don't like salt that much. Right. We don't like salt don't rims, like right? Salt so we're using rims. a little bit of our keto-friendly granulated sugar to make a couple of uh, rims. Mm. One that we're going to make. You didn't even know about this, right, baby? Mm. Oh, you see? Yeah. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Actually, we don't need that much in there. Okay. I'm going to make a couple of sugar rims here. The first one I'm going to make is a lime zest one. This is for you. Thank you. I like the way you cater to me. <laughs> so mm, we're going to infuse this lime zest here with our keto friendly sweetener to make a nice. Mm, that's going to be good. All right. Smell it right. Right. Smell that. So let's give this a little stir. And that's how you can make a nice little. And you can do this with salt. If you like salt on your glass rim, you can do a lime salt rim. And it is amazing. Now, what kind of salt, though? Whatever kind of, yeah, kind you, of salt. Yeah, you, you use like a, uh, um, like a kosher salt, a coarse uh, sea salt. Okay. Or a ground sea salt. Not just a table salt. No, definitely okay. never, ever, ever. Never, table ever, salt. table salt. Ever, ever. <laughs> Now, our other sugar rim, mm -hmm. we're going to spice it up because we like things sweet and spicy. And I've got chili powder here. Mm. As much chili powder as you like. I want it to be spicy, so I'm going to go heavy. It's also going to be sweet, but I like it spicy. It is a spicy cucumber margarita. So we have a chili sugar, all right, and we have our lime sugar. So they're okay. both going to go on the rim? One for you, one for me. Okay. We're going to taste them both. All right, I need a little to moisten our glasses. Okay. And then, ooh, now we're going to jazz up the flavor here. And this is what we're going to do. You know what? Let's put some of that mint in there. Yes. Baby. How about that? So I thought you were going to have yeah, mint. Yeah. Yes. How about that? Mm. We got some fresh mm. mint. Mm. Hi, Ali. Love hey. you. <laughs> Where's she at? Where's she at, though? Where's She's they, probably home at, getting ready for work. <laughs> where they where they at, though? She would have been up if she would have had some of that stupid good coffee. <laughs> so we're going to put some fresh, torn mint leaves in here. All right. Mm. And that smells delicious, mm -hmm. right? And I've got some jalapeno. I'm going to put this whole jalapeno in there because we like it spicy. I'm going to gonna make a few for garnish over here. Oh, that's, that's already like, you can smell mm -hmm. that you can spice. Feel it, right? yes. You can feel that heat. The heat. All right. So we got the jalapenos. We got our margarita. I'm going to muddle this. Now, you don't have to go buy a fancy muddler unless you're a bartender and you, know, you want a muddler, you just want a muddler. I'll just take a spoon. And, uh, you know, because I don't buy gadgets, I just use my hands. Because you're the master chef. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, I need a gadget. Woo, don't get that jalapeno juice in your, in your eye. eye, though, because I got a story to tell. Do you want to um, muddle no, some no, for it's, you? It's perfect like okay. that. So let's get this beautiful ice that my love prepared. All right, got some ice in here. And baby, let's get some ice in our glasses, please. Yes. As well. Oh wait, let me let me rim these first. 
lemon. And we can get this out the way for a second. Okay. We can get this out the way for a second. All right, so this is the one with the lime sugar. Beauties! And then we're gonna make the one with the with our chili sugar. Mm. And you can just see how quick and fast it is. Well, we did squeeze lime juice and make cucumber juice and make our syrup in advance. But those are all things that you can make in advance. And then when you have your guests over, you can entertain them just as easily. So we have our muddled mint and, and jalapenos in there. I'm going to add some of this. Thank you, baby. What I, here we go, right in front of my face. All right. Amazing. Ooh, Goodness get it, gracious. Get it, baby. Every week you want to show me up in front of the guests. That's beautiful. All right. So let's get our, where's our little hoodie? Here it is. Thank you. You got me ready, baby? Yes. You pour yours first and hold on because we got to garnish this. So now I'm also going to show you a couple of garnishes. All right. What are you garnishing with? Ooh, you're going to see right mm. now. Look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? I just want to try it. <laughs> I don't care about the, the look. I know, baby. We got we to gotta show our guests, we got to show our viewers how they can, when they're hosting, Presentation. Yeah. Options, okay? So, we're almost there, baby. I'm almost done. So, you can do a beautiful, sexy cucumber ribbon is one option, right? You can make a little ribbon, go back and forth, and be all fancy schmancy like this. Where's my pick? Right here. You can make a nice little... Well, if I just get it to go in, there we go. You can make a nice little sexy cucumber ribbon. You can use a different type of pick, a longer tool pick or a miniature. All right, and you're gonna get that sexy garnish. And if you're a Neanderthal like me, uh, you can just, and you can also do this for the lady, but I'll just do a little cucumber slice like that. Mm. Cheers. Mm, this is so pretty. <laughs> Happy Sunday. Happy Welcome Sunday, to Kia with Love. And this is, I guess, like afternoon coffee. Mm. Wow. Wow, it's refreshing. So Very good. Refreshing. I don't think I had. It has that, um, that fresh uh, cucumber juice that we made. Mm. Cheers, loveys. Cheers. You like the rim? Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Sorry. We can do this. Woo! It's wow. Sunday. It's twelve o'clock somewhere. It's definitely twelve o'clock here. Yes. Oh, I like that. Mm. Now, can we just do the uh, what was that? The mm. chili powder you said. Chili powder. Yes. Can we incorporate that with the uh, lime absolutely. and sugar? Absolutely. Mix them up. I just want you to be able to taste some okay. distinct flavors. Yes. Love it. But you can absolutely mix it. Love it. The more, the merrier. Mmm. That's a great way mm -hmm. to progress from coffee mm -hmm. oh, into lunch. This is good. Happy? Mm -hmm. Amazing. Mm. Yes. Well, I like the chili. Now we're about to get into the mm -hmm. ultimate baby lamb chops. You like lamb, Nailana? <laughs> Amazing. Oh! She eats everything. I forgot a little jalapeno it's never too late. Right? I think Wolfie likes lamb too. Well, I'm going to show you how we're going to make this amazing. It's delicious, Oswaldo. We'll have to either you come here or we'll go there. Listen, you're on Facebook, you. brother. The recipe is right up there, but, but we have to drink these together for sure because <laughs> it's all about I friends. Agree. Friends make <laughs> everything better. So... Yeah, no, Oswaldo, I think uh, you had said something and he said, that's right. You can make your simple syrups and put them in a, you know, $1 plastic squeeze bottle. Absolutely. And it will store in the free in the fridge for months. Absolutely. That's, that's what we do. We make our, our, most of our syrups well in advance. And, uh, and like he said, they, they, 
Now, we use a keto-friendly sweetener. He's talking about keto. You're talking about keto sweeteners. You're talking about keto simple syrups, right, Osvaldo? That's what you're talking about. That's what we're steering our viewers to, to no sugar. So I got this beautiful baby. Lamb chops. Lamb chops. They're grass-fed. And again, if you can't get grass-fed, no judgment. I just... I just, I just happen to find these at a great price. But, you know, it's really not that expensive to eat well because when you do keto, you eat a lot less frequently. So we reinvest that back into the quality of what we eat. A lot of times people have a misconception about eating healthy where they think that they're going to be spending a bunch of money. But if you're eating keto, you're not because you're not going to be eating that often. You're not going to be hungry that often. You're going to feel amazing. So we... We reinvest that back into our lamb chops. You can already buy these cut up. Of course, they're going to cost you more. Since I'm a master chef, I'm not going to pay someone to cut my lamb chops. Mm -hmm. All right. Who do we have on my love? So happy Sunday, Pammy. Pammy, I think I, I gave you a shout out earlier. You might have missed it, but happy Sunday, Pammy. Hey, Pam. You're doing, How you doing wonderful, by the way. Absolutely. Uh, Siobhan, happy Sunday to you as well. Thank you for joining us if you're still on. Uh, jo Joanne, yes, we had um, talked to you a few minutes ago and you asked about the coffee. And thank you for joining Absolutely. us. Is that, is that Joanne Cardella? Yes. Hey, Joe, how Cardella. you doing? Good yes. to see you. Uh, my daughter, Alicia and Alexis. Hey, girls. Us as well. Happy thank Sunday. Thank you guys for joining us here on today and Sunday. Absolutely. So you guys are busy and had a, a, a nice weekend spending with your... And happy birthday yeah, to Fred. I had to work, I had to to work last night, Fred. I missed, 30, I missed your birthday, but I, I miss birthday. you. Amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. Yes. Let me see. Baby, can you give me my white plastic cutting board? Because I'm just a man. Okay. Please and thank you. I want to show these lovely folk how we uh, how we can cut up and trim some lamb. So I like to buy the full rack like this with all the fat, all the meat. You know, you can do what's called French when you cut off all this excess fat and you clean up the bones so it looks like a nice little lollipop. But, you know, this is all the same meat. This is the fat cap. This is the most delicious part. You can remove and uh, cut down some of this fat cap. A lot of people do that. You can render this down as well. But I like all of that, so I'm not going to trim off so much. Thank you, honey. Yeah. I'm going to trim off just a little bit. All right. Thank you, my queen. Yeah. All right. So, so why do you thing. trim that, that part? Well, just, you know, it's just for aesthetics. But, uh, you know, like I was explaining, when you, when you go to a restaurant, or when you go to, you know, maybe a fancy restaurant, they're going to trim it down so it, it, it looks a little prettier and it's easier to eat. I like to keep on uh, a little bit more fat, though. So we gonna, can use that for, Of course, yes. of course. It's not going anywhere. Except for broth. You can use that for many things. Ooh, well, listen, it's going to use it for, mm -hmm. to put it in the pan and cook it up. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go ahead. Oh, my and, God. This is so good. You enjoying that? Mm -hmm. Hold on. This is not the knife I want to use. So let me put this off to the side. Need my knife. All right. Mel Rivera from Florida. Hey hello, girl, how hello. you doing? She's part of the Denise and Mercy gang. Oh, hi. Gang, nice gang. meeting you through our Facebook channel here. <laughs> hey girl, how you doing? Say hello to the family. Yeah. Hey girl. Saludos. All the way from sunny Florida. You see, you could be anywhere. And you can be in the embassy of Keto Cooking with Love at the same time. So I'm just going to cut these down into lollipops because we're going to make a very delicious marinade for these. There's a reason that these are the ultimate keto lamb chops. Because we're going to inject so much favor and so much love. You're not going to believe it. All right, do we have the link up correctly, honey? All right, beautiful. And this little fat guy in the end, he's going to be my friend. Let me put this right here, my mm -hmm. queen. Wonderful. Thank you so much for that. Let me get this offset. Now, we have our lamb cut up. And you see how quickly you can do that. It's a beautiful lollipops, all right? You want, and I should have shown you this, shame on me, but you want to start from the end that has that, that doesn't have that little tip. All right, and then you want to cut closest to the bone in the direction that you're going to. And once you get through that little bone right there, it's gonna slice right through. I should have showed you that. Shame on me. 
Now that we got the lamp cut off. But what, what would have been like the big difference if you didn't show No, no, you just, I'm just showing them how to easily cut okay. through the lamps so that you have nice, uniform, beautiful lollipops, you know? Okay. It's just a little, a little meat butchery, you know? Now, honey. Yes. You want you me to join that this? drink? Yes. Let me put it right here. Thank you. Let me get past me these herbs, honey. Yeah. Right here. Thank you, Mom. All right. Amazing. So. Like this. Okay. All of All right. We got some fresh herbs here. We're about to make the most delicious and amazing marinade for lamb that you've ever experienced. So. We like to heat things up, we keep them with the theme. We've got some crushed chili, all right? Some red, some red chili flakes. Look what I'm gonna do to this, baby. Lemon zest. Show me. Show the, <laughs> show the viewers what you're gonna do. Want to infuse, a lot of people like to marinate meats or, or maybe fish with lemon oil, lemon, you know, lemon juice. And when you, when you use the juice, of, a, of citrus, you get the acid, but when you when you use the skin or the zest, you get the oils, and that's where the uh, the the more depth of flavor is. So I'm gonna zest a couple of lemons in here because I really want to get that flavor to permeate. Now you can do these in advance; mm -hmm. a couple of days would be oh my goodness. But this is so the way that we're going to inject flavor in here. Is gonna completely overtake the lamb in minutes. So if you didn't have time to marinate your lamb, this is gonna taste amazing. <clears throat> now we have chili flakes, lemon zest in there. Maybe you continue cooking while yes. I am. Uh, are you are you good to enjoy? I got some fresh garlic. I'm gonna again use the zest, the, the, the grater here to grate my garlic very quickly. This is like a, also like a nice summer oh, yeah. spring drink. Absolutely. We, we did it today to pair with the lamb. Lamb usually pairs wonderfully with, with fresh herbs like mint and rosemary, but we wanted to keep it light. So we're actually not using any rosemary in our lamb, but we are using some amazing fresh herbs. So now we've got that garlic flavor in there that we cannot live without. And I'm gonna grate some fresh ginger, even with the peel on and everything. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, baby. Get yeah, ahead. So I'm gonna grate this ginger with the peel on and all. And this, oh my goodness, it's smelling so amazing. Hey, if you don't like ginger, you don't have to use the ginger. That's not a problem. If you don't, if you don't uh, like garlic, you don't have to use the garlic. But I'm telling you right now, whew, this is smelling naughty. Now, we've got our aromatics, ginger, garlic, we've got chili flakes, we've got lemon zest in there. Now, baby, yes. it's time for some fresh herbs. Oh, I smell the ginger. <laughs> right? Like that? Mm -hmm. We got some fresh herbs here. I got uh, some mint. Oh, ginger would have been good too in here. Mm. Sigue hablando así ante la gente. Que tú va a ver. Tú va a ver. So we got some, some fresh mint in here. Also, I got some other herbs because we love fresh herbs. I got some fresh oregano. Okay. If you don't, if you don't, if you can't find fresh oregano, that's fine to use dry oregano in here. I would use a little bit less when you're using dry spices, but that would still give a lot of flavor. But this fresh oregano is going to bring another depth of flavor. Why would you less, use less? Of the dry? dry. Be because because of the, I don't want it to burn, the dry right. spices to burn as much when I'm cooking them. Not that the fresh spices can burn too, right? but those have less moisture, right? Mm. Now I got some fresh parsley here as well, just to, you know, because third one's the charm. So we got all our fresh herbs here. We can get rid of this, baby. This drink is so good. Mmm, and yum. So we got our baby lamb chops. We're making our marinade. I got my knife. And we're gonna get these herbs a quick chop. Ah! 
again, that was close. That's what did it, right? Yes. Is that what did it? Yes. When I was making the power the... moves, yes. <laughs> All right, we have to find a new setup for that. So that's where we are right now. Lemon, garlic, ginger, chili flakes, and a copious amount of fresh herbs. And now we're going to add our olive oil, because this is, after all, extra virgin, 100% extra virgin olive oil for our marinade, okay? I'm going to go ahead and um, try to... Bring it down? Uh, yeah. Well, a more and take it from the back with that box. Just moisten it. Go ahead. I won't do too much movement. All right. This is our beautiful fresh marinade. This is going to take to that lamb so quickly. But again, marinating it in advance is, is, is definitely a good idea. You can marinate these in advance if you're grilling in the summer and you have guests over. You can marinate these in advance, have them in your refrigerator, pop them out when your guests arrive. Let the meat come to room temperature. You never want to cook your meat when it's cold because then you wind up overcooking the outside. This is one of those master chef tricks, all right? But it's really that's really a, a, a basic cooking technique if you're if you're working in any type of restaurant or working with any type of respectable chef. You wanna not cook your meat when it's cold. Now I you know a lot of times when you work in a in a restaurant they have the meat refrigerated right up until the time someone orders it. But in a really good restaurant They'll have a really, really, really hot oven. So, now you're making these on the pan? Yes, we're gonna pan sear them, but like I said, people can do these in advance. Right. All right. And whew, we're gonna get this in here, get them all happy. <laughs> Hi, Carmen. How are hey, you? Hey, happy love? Sunday. Happy Sunday. How you doing? I'm hoping you're enjoying your weekend. Tell about our drink, baby. Yes. Yeah, so, Since Mama, we're morning. having a. Spicy cucumber, cucumber margarita, mm. but we didn't start with our drink, our cocktail this no, morning. Sorry, we started sorry. with some stupid good coffee <laughs> this morning, this afternoon. And we're gonna tell you more and about we'll tell that. Tell you more about as the it. The show goes on. Just joining in. Absolutely. So I got these beautiful lamb chops here. Carmen, you just joined us. Happy Sunday to you and your husband. And it's stupid good too. <laughs> we're marinating. Look at this. We're marinating this lamb. Sometimes you just got to get in there, you know? Come closer, baby. Come yes, closer. I'm, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Okay. And um, you want to get in there and really marinate this. And these flavors are just going to, again, I never put salt in any of my marinades because, let me get some paper towels. Yes. Right there. I never put salt in any of my marinades because salt draws out water from vegetables and from meat. And I want to keep, I don't, you know, I, I, oh, I, earlier when you saw, I was drying. I took the meat out of the package and I dried it with paper towels because you don't want your meat to be wet when you're going to cook it. Water and oil don't stick, so you're not going to get a nice, beautiful crust. So I started off with the meat completely dry, and now I don't want to put any salt in my marinade because I don't want to draw moisture. And that, that's one way I'm going to get a beautiful, a beautiful seal on my meat. Now, what are you going to say, honey? No, it's just... Uh, uh Talking to the young lady. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're going to pair that. Oh, you're gonna do this? Um, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. So we're going to pair that. You know what? We need another pan of these. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Over here, please. Gotcha. Please. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's why she's my master sous chef because I thought I had everything. I thought I had everything. And I was like, is this going to be the week that we have everything? Um, and since, since I don't pay myself, I can't fire myself. But of course, there's always one thing that you forget. And that is the beauty of being live. All right. But I'm going to tell you about what we're going to make. I just told you we're going to make the most amazing velvety delicious cauliflower puree that's going to completely mind mess you up and uh, whatever they call that, mind something you. And um, it's going to blow your taste buds. It's better than, I'm going to tell you right now, it's better than any mashed potato that you ever experienced. So we're going to start off with our puree. Thank you, honey. 
I'm going to start off with our puree. We got our meat marinating over there. We have my master sous chef setting up our backup station so we can make this cauliflower puree for you live. All right, because this is a live cooking show. Sometimes we, uh, we try to have things prepped just to expedite the process. But the truth is, you know, that we're cooking live here. So you can't prep everything in advance, you know? Now, thank you, baby. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you, baby. So I'm about to tell them about this amazing cauliflower puree and how we're going to make this come to fruition. So let me get my pot here. So we have a question from um, Osaka. Yes, tell me. Okay, buddy. so question. How long do you or should you <clears throat> marinate lamb before cooking? There are some folks that say a few hours but I literally do about 30 minutes before th throwing on the grill. Does it depend on what you're making? Um, example, like Sue's versus grill versus pan seared, oven finish, et cetera. Great question. So like you and like we're doing right now, we're marinating these baby lamb chops right before we cook them. And like I said, you could do them in advance, but that's going to be more from like a time conservation standpoint. A cut like baby lamb chops that are small and especially how we just infuse them with flavor by grating the ginger, grating the garlic, um, and then the lemon zest, you know, that's and the fresh chopped herbs is going to suck up all that. All those flavors are going to come through right away and it's such a small, delicate cut. If I was doing a stew, I would do a different cut of meat. And so in, in the case of a stew, you wouldn't have to marinate your meat in advance per se. Uh, I would probably dry, put some dry spices on my meat and sear it off before I start building the aromatic vegetables of my stew and you have the chicken stock. And so a stew is going to develop its flavors by cooking over time. But like depending on the cut, you know, something that's cut thin, like some type of a uh, lamb chop or, or lamb shank, you can absolutely, like you said, marinate that just 30 minutes before you're going to cook it. If you're making, I make leg of lambs, we don't marinate them in advance. Yeah. We, we make a, a delicious garlic herb mm -hmm. oil just like this with flavors. We add African spices in there, all types of stuff. We make this marinate and then we score the fat of the lamb. And we infuse it with that and we throw it on the grill, put it on the on the soft part of the grill where there's no direct heat and cook off our leg of lamb. So you don't have to marinate meat uh, well in advance. Uh, a lamb, you don't have to marinate a uh, lamb well in advance. You just, you know, because there's plenty of ways for you to inject and infuse flavor, whether you're doing a simple, quick grilled lamb chop, lamb shank. Or you're, you know, or you're uh, doing a long stew. If you're infusing flavors and building flavors, then no, you don't. You absolutely don't need that that preset time. Thank you for your question, brother. Thank you. Yeah. So let me get some the onion Elizabeth, here. Elizabeth, thank you for joining us. Hey, Elizabeth happy has Sunday. been joining us through listen, our YouTube. <laughs> listen. I'm We're, seeing her more now on YouTube. Thank you for joining us, Elizabeth. We appreciate it. We, we appreciate, appreciate that very, very much. It's so, no, not yet. Okay. I've got my onion in here. You told me you've seen me talk about extraction and pulling out flavors. I'm starting with cold olive oil and my onion, so I can just extract as much flavor from those onions as possible. All right, because we're making a cauliflower puree, mm -hmm. so the 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 onion is not the center. Well, I want to use it. Side. Yeah, baby. Yes, mommy. Thank you. The, the 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 onion is not the focus part of the dish. The focal part of the dish is the cauliflower. But I want to use the onion to infuse flavor into the dish. So I'm starting with cold, over there. I'm starting with cold <laughs> olive oil so that I can pull out all of the flavor from the onion, all right? And we're seasoning it up. We have a little bit of pink sea salt. If you've watched me before, this is what I have in my container here, some Redmond pink sea salt. You know, you can use any type of Himalayan pink sea salt would be great. Redmond happens to be my, my favorite, and it's made in America, all right? It's made in Utah, and it's amazing. So, um. It comes from these mines uh, that were recently discovered in Utah, and 
is zen and all of the micronutrients and all the minerals that you need from your skull. It's like highly, highly dense in that. And it's low on the carbon footprint because it's made in America, right here in Utah. So I would suggest you go check out Redmond Sea Salt, right? If you haven't tried it, it's absolutely amazing. Now, I am just kind of getting my onions here, a little bit sauteed and translucent. Marka. I'm getting my onions here, a little bit uh, sauteed and, and translucent. I don't really want to develop too much color, because it's a cauliflower puree. It's supposed to be white. But I just want to kind of get them soft and opaque and translucent. They're going to cook with the cauliflower. I have here a head of cauliflower. I'm going to start off with just half a cauliflower for now. So we can eat it in the time of this show. All right? Amazing. So I want to show you how quickly you can make an amazing cauliflower puree. It's probably going to be faster than mashed potatoes. See, I thought we had to um, blend those. You know how we usually do for the cauliflower rice? And then cook yeah. them and puree them. No, baby. Okay. It's going to be like when you're making mashed potatoes and you Got add the potatoes it. to the water and get them boiled and hopefully you I don't overcook them. I was wondering why we have those already... Um, you know, I told you, my blend it, you This know. week we were cooking live. <laughs> we just got the drink ready. We were too busy drinking coffee. That's Which cool. we have been enjoying. Yeah. It's been... Uh, there is... Oh, my God. Because, you know, I, I drink other coffee for many years. And when I tried this coffee, there the is such a big difference. And then the house is just so aromatic, you know. It's it smells like, like a, you were roasting it beans. It's like a, a coffee house. Absolutely. <laughs> it smells like a, a whole Starbucks. It sure did. Well, you know, well not, no, a Starbucks, not a Starbucks. Not a Starbucks. But, you know, a coffee. It was better than a Starbucks, to be honest. I mean, I'm talking about these aromas in the air. It smell all yeah. the time. Actually, what it smells like to me is when I, like, I used to go in New York to Fairway supermarkets, and they have an uh, area that has whole beans. You know, a lot of them have been there for a long, long yeah. time. Uh, they are fresh beans, but they're not freshly roasted, like super good coffee. Mm -hmm. But um, but when you walk that area, you get all the aromas of coffee that just perfume the room. Yes. That's what it reminds me of. So I have my master soup chef here. Again, we're using some of our Redmond's pink sea salt, a little bit of black pepper. You know how when you go into the fragrance department of Swaddo and you try on like a million gazillion <laughs> yeah, fragrances and know. they have those little... Coffee beans, so that you can at least clean your your Absolutely. senses and smells. It was a whole the whole wing, house. Wing. The whole house smelled like. And you need to go visit those. Coffee beans. <laughs> now they need some of yours. <laughs> now I'm gonna put that up to the side. Thank you, my You're girl. Welcome. So. She's doing here exactly what you should be doing, is making sure you're not getting too much color in your cauliflower, but you do want to get the cooking process started. I'm going to add just a little, little, little bit more oil, because oil fat is a conduit for heat. So I want to make sure that everything starts to get the cooking process. But now we're going to add, we just happen to have some organic low-sodium chicken stock. You know, if you uh, don't eat meat, you don't have to have the lamb, and you can still make this delicious puree. If you're vegan, you can still make this delicious puree. You don't have to have the cream. You can use coconut cream or you can just use a uh, vegetable stock or a little bit of water and it's still going to be amazing because you develop that onion, that natural onion flavor. Um, and then the cauliflower. So I have some chicken stock in there. I'm adding a touch of cream and we're just going to let this steam very, very quickly. I think Oswaldo wants to get a rack of lamb. <laughs> I, I probably. He probably has one. He probably has one right now. I say, I'll be right back. Let me go and uh, search for that. All right, so we got, we've got the, the cauliflower cooking off to the side. We're about to sear off our lamb chop. So that was it. Any And you can you substitute um, the heavy cream with anything, baby? Yes. Like I said, if they don't do dairy, yeah. they can either just omit the cream. Okay. If they don't eat meat, they use a little bit of water or vegetable stock. Um, and, and if they don't do dairy, you can either omit it entirely. You can do a little bit of coconut milk, which is going to infuse a little bit of coconut flavor into it, into there. But ultimately we're going to strain the liquids and just use the softened cauliflower and onion. So even though it is being cooked in dairy, so of course it's going to have dairy. 
Uh, if you add the heavy cream, it's not going to be uh, too much of the final product. And we're going to add cream later, so if necessary, depending on the texture of the cauliflower. But if you don't do dairy, you can absolutely omit it. Okay. All we're doing is just infusing some more fat in there, some more keto love, and 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 softening the uh, the, the, the cauliflower. Yeah, exactly. And and dairy is it's a it's a protein. It's also a carb. And it has enzymes that help tenderize things. Like if you ever had pork stewed in milk, you know, it has that effect. So that's kind of what we're doing there, just to help break down the enzymes in that cruciferous vegetable um, that's so hard for a lot of people to ingest. And, so yeah. I think that's why you can like you like my cauliflower. I do, yes, yes. So yeah, but you I actually can. don't have to have dairy. You might need I can to have handle another, that. You might need you to know? have another drink. But I went one time to this restaurant. It was a vegan. I, yeah, I think it was a vegan restaurant. And then I had a steak cauliflower. Cauliflower steak. Cla yeah, cauliflower steak. And boy, that it was, was not a good choice for me. <laughs> it was not it good. It was not good at all. It was the worst experience ever. So when, you know, I he you know made me cauliflower one time when we started, you know, our dating and. I was hesitant to try, and I'm like, I don't know if I should, but I didn't want to like hurt his feelings, you know. <laughs> well, <laughs> and, lucky me. But I, I did, and it was, it was pretty good, and yeah. Here we are. Here we are. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I think you need a refill, honey, because even though it's a pitcher, they're shaping to order. Well, Carmen Lopez. <laughs> Uh, she says that we were opening a restaurant. Well, um, da, da, da. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> More to come on that, Carmen Lopez. But that's a valid question. You're speaking it into existence, lovey. <laughs> we might be. We might be. Uh, you never know. But, uh, but what we are committed to is being here every week and cooking for you guys so that we can build this community and be together. And share some love. Yes, but we do thank you uh, for coming in and joining and supporting us every Sunday, you know? Absolutely. Uh, we do enjoy cooking live for you guys. And, and we, we hate it when we miss her live. Yes, yes. <laughs> you know. We've been running around and I'm like, baby, Carmen was on 16 minutes ago. I know what time <laughs> she was on and she said something and I was like in the post office, um, you know, getting some items out and he was... He couldn't communicate with me because I left the phone in the car. Yeah, I'm calling her, and the phone is buzzing in the car. The Bluetooth is coming on. I'm like, I'm calling myself? I left the phone in the car. So I'm sorry. Yeah. But thank you. Thank you for joining us every week. We absolutely appreciate it. You and everyone that comes and joins us, whether it's one week or are now our 20th week, you know, um, we absolutely appreciate yes. is it all our of your time. Episode? It's our 20th episode. We didn't even thing. mention that. Yeah, but it's, it's written just, down. Okay, because it's just but like... But we're not reading. No one reads anymore. It's crazy. <laughs> How's your drink, baby? I, um, like, I, it's happy, refill happy joy, time. Joy. Yes. All right, happy joy, so... Joy, joy, yes. All right, now... It's been a long time since like, I had a cocktail it's like, like this. It's like, it's like the Mary Poppins Thank drink. You. It just, so it just keeps coming out the bag. Thank you. It just keeps coming out the bag. So right now I have a very boisterous Pekingese in the background. So sorry if you hear Absolutely. a little barking in the back. Little thing like this with a big mouth over there. Hold on. Hold It's not the size of the dog in the fight. <laughs> so we got our cast iron pan here. Right, Wolf? Tell him. You're gangster. He's so cute. We got our cast iron pan here. I like, I like to see her. I like to fry, I like to do a lot of things in a cast iron pan because it takes a little bit of time to get hot, a little bit longer than a, a conventional saute pan or fry pan. However, it retains its heat really, really, really well. And that's a great thing when you're cooking. You want to retain that heat because when the temperature drops, you're not getting that beautiful, nice color on your sear, but you're also not truly locking in those flavors and juices as much as you want. Um, and that's the one great thing about cooking something on the bone that is gonna, the meat is gonna have this natural tenderness, but then you're gonna have that added tenderness and flavor from the bone. So we want to, you know, we don't wanna waste any of that good juju. Normally, what's the time frame on cooking? So it depends, it depends on the thickness of the lamb. Okay. I, we did them into single lollipops. 
uh, you know, sometimes I cook the whole lamb and I sear it off like that. I finish it on the grill or I just turn over the pan. I cover it with some foil and a lid and I just pan roast the, the lamb in here, the entire thing. And then I cut it. It depends on, on, on the thickness of the lamb and what temperature you want your lamb. I got to watch my cauliflower here. Is it also, you know how you have it your depends. steak, medium well, well, it Exactly. It's, it's red meat. It's lamb same. is red okay. meat, just like beef. Right. So it depends on how, how you want it. I recommend lamb medium, where you still have a good amount of some redness in there, and it's cooked on the outer edges, but it's really a personal preference thing. And even if you have this particular lamb well done, if you're one of those well done connoisseurs, which we don't judge anybody, I, I like certain cuts well done, doesn't matter. Um, there's so much flavor in here. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. It has that fat cap. It's, it's going to be juicy and delicious. Yeah, mine would be like a medium well. Absolutely. So right? you just want a little bit of pink. Yeah, just, yeah. Just a right. yes. That's what we're going to make happen. Yes. Now. Can I get a little bit of the um, chili powder? Just the, the inside. Yeah. Just oh, no, no. We, we got to get more chili powder. From oh, the, okay. From the kitchen. But you want something? No, you don't want chili sugar. No. Just All too. right. But I, I like more heat. Yeah. Heat is good. Now I got my pan nice and hot, baby. Let's get these lamb chops going. Let me bring. Let me put over. the let me put the fire over here so it's not all over. Do you want here. me to bring the lamb chops over? Yes, please. Okay. And once I get my my lamb chops in here, now I'm gonna season them with salt. All right. Thank you, honey. Let me use my tongs here. How was that drink, mm. baby? So good. That's what you want. So good. Amazing. <laughs> All right. So I got my lamb chops in here. I'm going to start off with a couple of so chops. Do you have to here. put some oil in the pan or no? Uh, yeah, I will. You will. But I'm just getting my, they're already oiled up. So okay. I'm, I'm just getting my chops ready. I'm going to get oiled in there in a second. Oh. I didn't cut them as uniform as I wanted, but that's okay because that's all going to go in the belly. That's right. They're going to get in my belly. <laughs> so, look at that. Look at that lamb. Look at that lamb. Isn't that amazing? All right? Yeah. That's beautiful. Get that Redmond's pink sea salt in there. I have so much oil on my marinade, I haven't added oil to the pan yet. I don't think yet. you're going to need it. Yeah. Because we can drizzle the rest Absolutely. on there. All of that we have, we have one. We have one last fat daddy. We're going to leave you off to the side for now. Okay, it's like no. No. Okay. Some of that. No, no, come on, baby. Okay. Master chef. <laughs> So we want to get a sear here, so we don't want to we don't want to fry. Yeah, okay. we don't want to fry. Now I'm gonna see the other side of my lamb, so it doesn't come seasoned. Got some pepper, some freshly ground pepper that I love ground this morning. That's the wonderful thing about having those spice grinders. When you put meat into the pan, you don't want to move the meat around. You want to move the pan and make sure you have oil and fat everywhere. That is coating. That's right, because oil is a conduit for heat. So if you don't have fat, if you don't have oil. On your vegetable or your protein or whatever you're making, you're not cooking, all right? Unless you're steaming. Steaming right. is also okay. In that case, you wouldn't use fat. You'd use water, all right? Or you're sweating something that has a lot of water. You may not need fat. But if you want to get a good sear on meat, on a steak, on a lamb chop, you want heat, sustained heat, and that's why you use a cast iron pan, and you don't want to move your meat around when you first put it into the pan. So we have our cauliflower over here. This yeah. will be about done. I'm going to start to reintroduce that to the picture in a second. And the great thing about this cauliflower is that if you have a stick blender like we do, an emulsion blender like this, we're going to make this right in the pot. We're going to drain the water, and then we're going to make our puree right in the pot. So that's a great way, if you're making this in advance, and to paint people. Like making mashed potatoes in advance, you can make a cauliflower puree in advance in the pot, drain the liquid, puree it right in there, season it, taste it, and then it's ready to go. You can leave it off on the stove to the side, and when your guests come and you're ready to serve dinner, Presented. amazing. <laughs> you just, you know, if you're doing it family right. style, you can put it out on a platter with a serving spoon. Ooh. So, 
I can't wait to turn this around. I can't wait to eat. <laughs> so, we got that nice beautiful sear on one side. Now we're gonna get these a little flip. So, if you're just joining us, and I've seen a few that have engaged with us, coming on this lovely Sunday with us, um, is our 20th episode. And we have um, introduced our, our uh, spicy cucumber margarita, but we started drink our show drinking coffee. Absolutely. Uh, a stupid good coffee. Yes. Which, by the way, uh, was introduced to us by Jose with uh, a friend. Buddy, I love yeah, him. Yeah, his buddy. On Facebook now. I don't know if he's still on. One of his buddies that, um, yeah, owns the company. And uh, I'm, yeah. I'm a coffee lover. And I'm like, let's try this coffee. It's and freshly roasted. Freshly roasted coffee. We got, we got our order in this week just in time. It's amazing. We've been doing nothing but drinking coffee. But, uh. It's super good. It literally like. And we share with you guys a, a promo code down in the description. You're watching on Facebook and you and we and on the comments on YouTube. So hey, if you're a real coffee connoisseur and you really want to taste the best coffee, uh, there's in Martha. <laughs> Check out that super good coffee. The link is down below. Literally, really good coffee. I mean, it's uh, really exquisite coffee. Yes. Watch the cup. Okay. Yes, baby. This is hot. No Put the cup over, please. Mm -hmm. baby. You can, uh, all right, so I'm going to let my lamb chops. And now we have lamb chops, and we're doing a uh, cauliflower puree. puree. I'm going to let my lamb chops. I cooked them. They're, they're still kind of rare, medium rare now, but my meat just leaving them in the pan. The carryover heat is going to finish cooking them to where we like them, which is medium, like medium well. Well, let me see. All right. Bueno. We have our cauliflower and onions now steamed. You saw how quickly that happened. Where's my little pot? I'm going to drain this right here into a pot. You have to be careful when you do this. It's not something you want to let kids do necessarily. It smells amazing, Carmen. We have Adrian Johnson hey, on Adrian. Facebook watching us also on YouTube. Hey, Adrian. And happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, Mama. Thank you for coming in. That's our girl. Uh, Elizabeth Mercano said, oh my God, the other day I made a ribeye on the cast iron Ooh. and Preach. I didn't move the baby around. I let it <laughs> sear. Oh my God, I cannot see on YouTube. Let I don't know why. I let it sear. Reason. Sear it. To perfection. Yeah. Awesome. Amazing. How Amazing. Was it? <laughs> Amazing. Send us I hope, pictures yes, that we'll be, we see. We'll be in New York soon if you got leftovers. Oh, my God. For some reason, I cannot see the wording in the YouTube thing. All right. So let me pull this up here because I didn't set my extension close enough. But I'm going to puree this cauliflower, and it's nice and tender right in here, okay? If it's too dry and, and needs some liquid, I can add some of that fresh heavy cream, or I can add some of my cooking liquid as well. It's, it's a matter of choice. So, but I'm getting all those onions puree, the cauliflower puree. Right now, it's looking like a mash. Yeah. All right? Which is, like I said, it's like better than mashed potatoes. All right? I'm going to add a little bit of the liquid in there so I can get some of those veggies pureed up and get this nice, like I said, a nice, sexy, velvety cauliflower puree. Already. Our lamb is finishing up in the pan. I'm going to transfer this, honey. Yeah. To something smaller. I want to make sure I have all the onions in the cauliflower, especially the onion pins. Okay. Puree. So give me one quick second. All right. So do you want me to just continue pureeing while you get something else? Just like that, I'm back. Huh? <laughs> one quick second. So. Let me set this off to the side for a second. I want to get this in here, my love. Hold oh, this container for no, me carefully. Nice. So I want to get this in here because usually I would make a lot more cauliflower in here, which would lend itself easier to puree and everything. 
So since I don't have that much in here, I want to transfer this to a smaller container, which makes the process of pureeing it much easier. Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. All right? And here we go. Now... I can get all my pockets, everything, everything nice to raise. That's a mashed potato. I don't want to keep adding liquid and make it soupy. I want it to have a nice viscosity like mashed potato. But instead, it's a cauliflower puree. That's why when I make this, people think it's mashed potatoes because I drain that liquid and I take the time to use a proper vessel to puree it. So you can just puree what you have here, which is cauliflower and honey. All right. Amazing. Who do we have on? Happy Sunday. We're about to. We're about to eat. We're about to eat. <laughs> very, very soon. About, very, this is the good soon. thing about cooking on Sundays. Get to enjoy a good meal. You know, every you know Sunday sure. together. You know for sure. After a busy, hectic week. If I didn't feed you all week, you know you're going <laughs> to eat on Sunday. <laughs> right? That's for sure. So let's see. Mmm. Mmm, baby, taste that. Doesn't need any salt. Mmm. So, ooh. Does it have any uh, garlic in it? No? Well, I don't know what it tastes like, a little bit garlicky, but it's good. It's cool. It's really good. That is oh, really I think good. Oh, you're so That is really that. good. All right. So, we've got our lamb. We've got our the plates. We've got our beautiful puree. Mmm. All right. Yum. Like Guys, that. you have to see this masterpiece. Now we have <laughs> I want our lamb this chops. One. Yeah, baby. We got <laughs> our lamb chops. All right. And because we're keto AF here, all right, I got to finish this with a nice finishing olive oil. I have a nice extra virgin unfiltered olive oil, nice finishing oil. So I'm gonna again, add some nice, beautiful, delicious flavor and healthy fat there. All right, and how do we, where's my parsley? Here you are. All right, we'll garnish this. We'll garnish this with a little, with Aww, a little parsley, that is such all right? A nice so presentation there. Look that at that. Is, Isn't that gorgeous? That is our dish. But today Beautiful. is ultimate keto lamb chops. This is why they're the ultimate keto. And that's going to go in my belly. <laughs> <laughs> so let's give this a taste, my love. Okay. Here's a puree. Mm. Yum. Wow. Mm. Mm. You like that? Meat. And we, we go together perfectly because I like the fat and she likes the meat. <laughs> I got to have more. More of it. Mm. Is that perfect medium That's for you? perfect. Oh my god, guys. Mm. <laughs> mm. Wolfie, don't worry, you'll get the mm. bone soon. <laughs> mm. That delicious pink Himalayan salt, you can taste it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Not pink Himalayan, Redmond sea salt. That's really good. Isn't that flavorful, that mm -hmm. salt? Awesome. Mm. Outstanding, Chef Jose. Wow, this is really good. It's really good. Ready to eat, Alana? Game. <laughs> yeah. Let's make our plate. I don't okay. make a plate right now. Yeah, make our plate. Mm. She has been patiently waiting. So we're going to hook it up. Guys, thank you so much for joining us this week. Yes. It's been absolutely amazing having you here in our kitchen. Uh, some like of this. That. She you might. Know, she doesn't want the fat. Okay. Take the floor, take that off right there. Take this off. And the fat, That's for yes. me, yep. Okay. Amazing. <laughs> I love it when people don't like the fat on their steak, on their lamb, on their whatever. I'm like, we're friends. We could be friends. Here you go, Nailana. Oh, she has her headphones on. Amazing. She'll be here. She'll be there. What? Well, guys. Who? 
for you. Come, taste it. Tell the world how you feel. Tell them how, tell them how it tastes. And show off that hair. You ain't do it for nothing. How long it took? Huh? How long it took to get your hair done? Three hours. Damn. Wow. Don't take me down. <laughs> you should go like me. Make the baby. Come. What's so this? baby's gonna try it. Try it. Tell us what it is. Tell us what it is. Call us our my uh my potatoes. Potatoes. Puree. Mm-hmm. It's good, right? <laughs> What does it taste like? And the choir says, Amen. Right? And that's baby lamb chops. This is a baby lamb? Mm hmm. Baby lamb chops. Well, not anymore. Oh. It was a baby. You're strong. Really good. Huh? good? Yeah, awesome. So and you the see, choir guys. Says, Amen. So you see, guys, introducing children to different various of foods. You know, <laughs> you don't have to tell them it's it's a keto. It's just you know various of foods, and it's listen. Really if you foods. make this cauliflower mash for your kids, they will never in a million years know that this is not mashed potatoes. Do you have a knife. They will just say to you, "Mom, Dad." This is the best mashed potato we ever had. That's so good. We have one question. Yeah. Now Rivera said, what's keto-friendly sugar? So we happen to use Swerve. Mm -hmm. They sell this in most supermarkets and your Publix, probably in Winn-Dixie. Um, some, I don't think I've seen it in all of these. But definitely Walmart has it. Definitely Publix. I know because she's in Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and probably uh, Winn-Dixie as well. Yum. Excuse me. Um, and there's other keto-friendly sweeteners. There's um, erythritol, which this has erythritol. There's uh, xylitol. There's adelose. And I'm, I'm going to start using adelose. I actually like it a lot. Um and we haven't done much stuff with it, but there's a few keto uh, friendly sweeteners out there. Um, you can also use stevia. Stevia is keto friendly. Now, I personally don't like the flavor of stevia, but so many people I know love stevia. Now, hey, Nan, how you doing? Good. And uh, so, yeah, so those, those would be some, some keto friendly sweeteners that you can use. Um, now, Splenda is keto friendly, you know. Uh, some people argue that may, may not have some whatever health benefits or whatever. They can have some stuff in there that's perhaps, you know, whatever. And there's other keto sweeteners that I use and have used that might have, like, some sucralose, other stuff like that. However, it is uh, keto-friendly. So, yeah. Enjoying just, it. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I'll enjoy mine fully later <laughs> after we're done with the show. <laughs> that's so good. So, yeah, guys. Thank you for your questions. Let's see if we have any more questions there or on YouTube. Well, no, she said thank you. Well, anyone, for those that stood on and enjoyed our show from beginning to end, thank you so much for taking the time because we do know that, you know, every day we have things to do. We have families to attend to, events to go to. So any minute that you spend with us, you know, we do appreciate you. Oh, and if you me. cannot be with us during from beginning to end, you can always go back and replay it, you know, watch us later. Or we have our YouTube channel, Bata That Keto Live. So follow us on that, right? <laughs> and if you miss it on, on our beginning, we did uh, mention we were drinking our, our favorite coffee. It's stupid good coffee. And it was a stupid good coffee mm. this morning. And we've been enjoying, seriously, this stupid good coffee. It's delicious, by the way. If you're a really, really, really serious coffee lover, like if you love coffee, this coffee is going to blow your mind away. All of the beans, they, they roast twice a week, so everything is roasted to order. When you place your order, it's going to be roasted that same week and shipped to you that same week. When you get your coffee, it's going to be just a few days old, and it's literally like having fresh out-the-oven pizza as opposed to like reheated pizza from last night. 
that's the difference. It's so, so delicious. And I decorated my table this morning and lost. These are the beans. And the, this one that I, I put out, because we have three different. Um, the Mocha Licious. Mocha Licious Express Yourself, Express which is yourself. like my favorite so far. And the Wakey Wakey looks wakey. also good. I love Wakey Wakey because the flavor of the bean. Yes. It's like, it's a, it's a milder blend, but it's so flavorful. Like I usually would drink like some fake coffee, like hazelnut coffee, which is for just probably using some ordinary beans or whatever. But this is a milder blend, very pronounced flavor. Yes. You express yourself. That's your uh, coffee for our real coffee. That's lovers me, that express love. yourself. And then you got the mocha licious here. Which is seasonal. Listen, this right here. And it's right going here, away at the end of January. It's like you smelling a nice mm, that's good, chocolate right? bar mixed with Coffee. Dark chocolate. Oh, yeah, my favorite. Chocolate. Yes, there you go. But it's like, he it's like said dark, it bittersweet chocolate that's mixed with coffee. It's, right there. Woo! Yes. It's right so there. good. But yes, and that's seasonal and it goes off the site at the end of January. They have okay. an amazing promotion right now, like half off, two for these, one, and all the coffee. And if you use our promo link below that our my friend Osvaldo was kind enough to share yes. with our audience about that keto life, it's down in the description, it's in the comments if you're watching on YouTube. You get an extra fifteen percent off your order. Yeah, and you have the Amazing. discount code is about that keto life. And if you uh, just joined us, he has been engaging with us throughout, so you can reach out to him as well if you have any questions. Okay, but I, you know, thank you again for chiming in today. Absolutely, hope, it's been a you know, wonderful episode. Absolutely, I'm about to feed you twentieth episode. Thank you so much. Enjoy your wonderful Sunday. Your long weekend. Yeah. Enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, it's Martin Luther King weekend. Enjoy your weekend. So Martin. for everyone who's MLK. off from work, kids off from school, you know, it's a it's a very it's a very good um Oh and it's free shipping. Oh he just came off. <laughs> now you tell us. <laughs> and it's free shipping. I mean we should have known that is it's awesome. A, baby, we should have known since we didn't pay for shipping. <laughs> it's awesome. Thank However, you. thank you for bringing yeah, that up. Absolutely on. right. That completely shapes it as um Skipped our mind, there's free shipping as well. Yes. So it's not one of those, oh, the coffee is 99 cents, but shipping is a hundred million dollars. It's not that, okay? And that's a little bit exaggeration. <laughs> well, <but yes>. sometimes <laughs> it feels like that. Like you ever order food from like Grubhub and the food is sixteen dollars and the delivery fee is like nine. <laughs> Well, as well, thank you for like, that important, important um information there. Yes, free I'm shipping. Eating. Two the savages one, now, yes, two, of course. For two for one through the month of January, then our promo code from extra 15% off and free shipping. Yes. No bamo, ciao. Have a wonderful Sunday, everyone 100%. that has been with us throughout. And enjoy your lovely week. And we'll see you soon again. Next, next Sunday. Next Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Adios, Sunday. ciao. Happy Sunday. And thank you for the info, Osvaldo. <laughs> Sunday.